So it's basically like a Elegoo Saturn clone with a little bit better build plate and one like really weird choice on file format. All right guys, VoxLab Proxima 8.9. You gotta watch out for that because they also have a VoxLab Proxima 6.0. It was super confusing when I went to buy it, like which one was which, because some of the listings just say VoxLab Proxima, some of them say 6.0, some say 8.9. You want the 8.9, that's what I'm specifically talking about in this review. It is the larger of the two, obviously 8.9 inches, I believe, not millimeters. And it is a low cost alternative to the mid-sized printers like the Epax E10 and the Elegoo Saturn. In fact, I think it is an exact clone of the Elegoo Saturn, at least as far as its guts are concerned, the screen and the board. The screens and the boards, if you guys don't know, are all made by one company, Chi2 Systems. So you're not going to get a huge difference in quality between one 4K Chi2 system and another 4K Chi2 system. What you end up with is a little bit of like different build choices. And in this case, a really weird choice when it comes to the sliced file format. They use not the standard Chitu box format, the .ctb, they use this .fdg. And that really threw me for a loop at the beginning because I was slicing up Chitu box files, throwing them on the printer, and it was like, bro, I don't know what you're doing. It took me a bit of research to figure out, oh, you want to use this FDG format. And, you know, Lychee Slicer, Chitu Slicer, um, Chitu box, they all support this file format. It's one I'd never heard of before. And I don't know if they saved like five bucks in licensing by not supporting Chitu Box format, but it was just really weird choice for me. But that does make you kind of be able to break out of the Chitu Box entanglements, if you will, with some of the newer boards where they only support uh, Chitu Box 1.9 file format and they don't let you really use other slicers. This printer works like a dream with Lychee Slicer, uh, they have their own slicer that is not good, but they do have their own if you want to go that route. Of course, it works with Chitu Slicer, um, Chitu Box. It's all good from that standpoint. So let's dig into like what are the minor differences in this printer between, say, an Epax E10 and an Elegoo Saturn, two printers that I've used in the past. The build plate is slightly smaller than my Epax E10. It is, uh, looks like to be roughly the same size as the Elegoo Saturn. One thing I do like about the VoxLab Proxima compared to the Saturn is they have this four uh, bolt mounting system for the build plate. If you guys see my Saturn review, that's one thing I never liked about the Saturn was this ball joint situation. It always came out of level for me when I was doing uh, my bigger prints, bigger molds. I'm just a klutz, but with this four bolt system, right? Once you tighten it down, you're good to go. You're set, it's not gonna come loose. The other interesting thing is there's not a lot of space in the printer itself. I print resins that require some heating above 25C to really print optimally. I use fermentation belts to, to make that happen. And on my E10, I can wrap the belt around between the, the VAT and the Z rail. On this, there's no room there. It's like smack dab up against it, uh, but it still works fine. It's just, you know, the minor things you're gonna run into. It does have a substantially smaller footprint than my E10, and it feels like smaller than the Saturn, so that's a bonus. All in all, I had no problems with this printer. It's, I bought it on Amazon, paid for it myself, not a review copy. $429 is what I paid for it. Not sure what, exactly what the current price is, but there's a link below, it's an affiliate link. You buy it, I'll get like a few dollars. But it is cheaper than the Saturn, and I think if you're printing fishing lures and molds, it's a better choice because it has that four bolt build plate and all metal build plate. My review of the Saturn versus the Epax is here. And if you're interested in fishing lures and fishing lure building on 3D printers and design, hit the subscribe button. Thanks bro, later.